see for some people it takes very little to get proud as long as they have nothing they're humble until they get pregnant until they get a job until small little breakthrough until small little answer to prayer and something happens it's not their faith that explodes it's their head that explodes and when your head gets exploded something happens in the proper good place you don't ever fit in because good places always puke out proud people heaven did with lucifer and sarah did with hagar and the interesting part is when hagar left sarah's house he, she didn't leave uh, saying i am proud she left saying hagar doesn't love me proud people always have really beautiful excuses they're easily offended their ego is as big as God's heart and it's always someone doesn't love me somebody didn't greet me somebody didn't give me this every single time but if you dig deeper if you get honest with God get honest before God you will see that yes it's true that maybe Sarah was not all right but when angel meets Hagar he did not accuse Sarah he told Hagar go back because if you want to be pregnant and proud something's gonna have to die and I don't want it to be your pregnancy I want it to be your pride because yes Hagar you conceived but you also became conceited and these two things cannot live if you want your destiny that you're caring to live listen that swollen head it has to shrink amen it's like that lady who comes to a pastor after he preached a, preached a sermon on pride and he says pastor I have a big sin to confess pastor says what is your sin she says that I my sin is pride he says how do you think or why do you know you have pride she says every morning I wake up I look in the mirror and I said look at you you beautiful thing you're the most beautiful thing in the world she says pastor I feel so bad about that sin pastor says dear it's not a sin you have you just have a mistake an imagination but it's not a sin the angel meets Hagar and Hagar is running she's running from where she got pregnant she's running pregnant and she's actually in a good place she is around water and guess where Hagar is running because the angels ask her two questions where are you coming from and he's asking a second question where are you going have you noticed that Hagar only answered one question she says I'm coming from Sarah but she never answered where she was going because the city she located herself in was one city closer to being back in Egypt where Hagar came from see every time we get pregnant and proud and we find excuses that people are hypocrites people don't love me somebody didn't do this and do that and we don't deal with those things but we allow that that thing to drive us away from the place that God planted us in whether you like it or not you always will gravitate toward your past not your future and many times we are pregnant with the destiny but because Satan stumbles us he trips us with pride trips us with our ego you know centric you know those feelings we trip over that and then we go back to our past and we lose our future in the process 